Hello and welcome to my installation tutorial for installing real QGAN, real ESRGAN, ESRGAN all together with this Docker here. And I'm going to show you how to install this on a Windows machine and we'll be requiring Docker, which is something that I've never taught anyone before. So it's going to be slightly new and might be a bit difficult for some of you guys. Yeah, let's get started. So what you need to do is to install Docker desktop on Windows so you can download this quickly. And what you will need is double check your Windows version. So if you're on Windows 10 like me, you have to go to system information. You need this system information here and check if you're on the right version here not the right version but it's a higher version so build 19041 or higher and mine is higher so this is okay after that you need to go and check if your windows features on and off and if you have this one virtual machine platform hypervisor platform and the windows subsystem for linux on if you don't have the, these options, then you might have to turn on the virtual machine on your BIOS. And how you can do that is to, when you restart or when you start a computer, you have to go into BIOS and there will be parts where you can turn on and off a um, virtual machine. And for that, you really have to search individually for your BIOS version and how you can turn it on. So mine was um, MSI BIOS 5 um, uh, virtualization. So I just follow one of these tutorials or Reddit threads and here for this is for me. So it really depends from person to person, but yeah, you just got to enable the SVM mode, which is the virtual machine. What's the S stands for software? I'm not sure, but yeah, you need to enable SVM and then you have to turn the windows feature on those three. And after that you're done, your Docker would probably install correctly. So after you have installed it, we can open it up. You can see Docker desktop here. It should look like this. And now we just need to find a file path for you to install all your codes and to have where basically your Docker at. So I'm gonna be using my tutorial folder. I'm gonna name it bscan. This again is going to contain a lot of different other AIs, which includes real ESRGAN, ESRGAN, and real QGAN. So you can just um, do a git clone here. You can, so you can use Anaconda or any other prompt. That is totally fine. But I'm going to use Anaconda because I'm used to using this already. I'm just going to CD into this folder and then swap my disk. You can manually download it or you can get cloned. I'm just going to get cloned here. All right. So it should be here. And if you go in, you can see all these files. Okay. Now to check if you install Docker correctly, if you type in Docker, you'll probably jump a lot of stuff. Out. Okay. That means you have it successfully installed. So now you're going to change the directory into your folder, which is here. So this file directory will point to this folder. And what you have to do is to docker build no cache T vscan tensor latest. Paste it here. So this process roughly going to take around 20 minutes, an hour. I forgot. It was really long though. And it's around 20 GB of stuff that is going to download. So make sure you have enough disk space for this because it will download a lot of different models while you don't necessarily need all of them. So you can delete them later after you finish building the Docker. So that is totally fine too. But yeah, I'll, I'll be back. All right, this time was slightly faster for me because I already built it once. But if you are building it brand new, then you might need to wait a longer time. So now next, uh, you will want to open up a text document where you can edit comments. So you want to you want to change this into your fire directory. So you kind of have to change a few things here. So in will be referring to your hard drive. So mine is in the F drive. Wait, let's put it side by side. 
So it'll be F drive. And then I'm going to change it to F. And it'll be tutorial. Tutorial. And then slash VSCN. Slash VSCN. And then. Oh. It should be like this here and then you have the column here and the rest here so you just copy this and then you paste it in here and yeah that means you're in the docker you're oh god that means you're inside a docker and all right next you are ready to run through some tests and what you need to do is to basically drag the video that you want to use into this base folder and then you have to open up uh, the inference pi file and if you don't have any code reading softwares you can just do it with um text uh, i mean notepad to be honest even though it might be slightly harder to read so you don't have to touch any of these you just mainly need to change the video path to um, FSN underscore S, which is your video here. And then in this section, uh, here are the models. And uh, yeah, and this section is where you define which program you're using. So you have to slightly read some codes. So here, here it's ESR again. This, this section is ESR again. And this section is... Um, real ESR GAN, this one. And and here, here is QGAN. So QGAN, you need to use this line. So when you want to use a specific one, you have to hash, uh, I mean, unhash the command. So right now it's running on, let's see, it's running on Rife. So you just gotta hash here, put in hash here. So it doesn't run this line of code. And then you had to let's okay, let's try the ESR again. This one. So these these two are both ESR GANs, but I suggest using this one. So you can you can see the whole line of code here. You unhash this, and then there's the model path, which will be specifying to this. This one comes with when you're building the Docker image. So don't really have to do anything else. And for these extra other parameters, you can check out the documentation here. I didn't make this by the way, someone else made it. And yeah, it's, it's really cool. And if you want to use other models, I will show you how to do it in a second, but let's just try out running this code. So remember you have to change the video input name, video path, and unhash and hash the right part. So to be honest, it would be best if you have any code reading software like these, which will be really easy to tell which line is hashed, which line is not unhashed. Like this one, this one's not. This one is not properly unhashed. There you go. So yeah, it should be like this. All right. So if you want to run it, all you have to do is to use this line. Let me paste it here. Okay, so now we can CD into Tensor RT, and this means you'll be at the file directory where the inference.py is here. So now you can use this command and paste it here. You have to make sure it's um, .nkv because it currently doesn't support MP4. So your input file also has to be mkv too. So yeah, if you need to convert the file type into mkv, you can easily do it with ma coder just download this here it's really easy to use and you can very easily convert into mkv file so yeah you just uh, copy and paste this here press enter i'm just gonna give it some time all right so it's done now you can check your result here um let's open up all right so Slightly clearer, yes. Well, that is ESR again. And if you want to have different models, except for these two, which is for Time Fatal Anime 500,000, you can go to here. 
model database i'll link this down in the description and then it has all the esr game models and let's use this one digital fake because i already have it and then you download this here you drag and drop it and then to here and what you have to do when you download your own model is you need to have a specific command to copy it into the docker so what you need to do is docker cp copy this file directory and then copy this file name paste it here and then do here workspace cp this should be your workspace you should copy it right out of your um docker and then have the exact same name save it open up another prompt can be an product prompt can be command prompt doesn't matter and you just paste it here press enter and yeah it should be there you can check it by going back to this docker cd dot dot and then ls and you see yeah it's here now so perfect and you go back into the tensor rt and then you can input the same command but you have to remember to change the model that it's pointing to so here then you have to change it into this file name to use this model and then you can run the same command Oh, I forgot to tell you when you whenever you run a new command you have to make sure that there's nothing called output so either um, rename it or move it to another folder or else it doesn't save your results all right you can check the result here this is for ESR again with a different model so if you want to use real ESR again all you really have to do is hash this out and then unhash this okay so real esr again you just need to unhash this line to make it like this and then make sure the scale is on two for two times i mean you can do four times but i only suggest doing two times and i copy the same command paste it press enter so yeah, that is done you can see your real esr again result here and then you just really have to yeah for QGAN, you really just have to unhash this line. And there are three models for you to choose. No denoise, denoise 3x, and conservative. And I suggest conservative because it balances between denoise and non-noise. So all you have to do is change this parameter and then leave for everything else. It'll be using the two times model too. So just copy this line. Is here. Yeah, the speed is incredible. It finished very quickly and yeah so that's about it for this video thank you guys for watching you can check out my main comparison video if you have not seen and you can consider supporting me via patreon or just by subscribing to my main channel too thank you guys for watching